Hey everybody, so I want to talk about a feature of Lightburn today called Print and Cut, and it's what I use to make these guys. So let's take a look. So the Lightburn Print and Cut feature is exactly what it sounds like. You print something and then you're going to cut it. Um, so in the example of these, or say in the example of like a sticker, where you're going to print a sheet, get everything laminated together, and then you need to cut those stickers out, that's what you would use this feature for. And so that's why I decided to use this with the sublimation technique so I could print the sub, get it on the wood, and then cut these out. So I'm gonna walk you through all the steps and where you need to go to get this thing set up and working for you in whatever project you're gonna use it on. Okay, so I've put the piece here in the laser and this was sub printed um, on a piece of eighth inch Baltic birch. You can see it has these registration marks here, which really the, the important thing is it's gonna go off of the center point that you are going to um, mark or at least select within Lightburn for the print and cut feature. And so these are important. They don't have to have circles around them, but there has to be something that's easy to line up and has a center. Um, so really like a crosshair or like a target like this is really ideal. So the idea is that we're going to take registration mark one, registration mark two, assign those in the laser, and then it's going to recognize and know where the rest of this stuff is because I already have the file uploaded into Lightburn. So as you can see on these prints, I actually made a border, a black border that goes all the way around both of these just to give me a little bit of buffer so that way I can actually go and I can cut in a little bit from the outer edge and make sure that it comes out a little bit more clean. So what I need to do in here is now, so this is the outside border and I am going to go ahead and use the offset tool and I'm going to come in just a little bit and I'm actually going to go half a millimeter. and go inward, and the same thing on this one. And okay. So now we'll go ahead and we'll just select these outside edges, and we'll turn them to one of the colors, the blue that I have as the output is off. Okay, so now it's gonna cut just inside of the black area that I have on my prints. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we're actually going to select our first registration mark. And what we wanna do after that is we're gonna go ahead and we want to line up the laser to that registration mark. And I've already dialed in my red dot pointer and it is sitting right on top of where my, my laser actually fires. So now just looking over here, we're gonna go ahead and I've got it set to move 0 0.08 millimeters every time I hit the arrows. So we're just gonna dial it in. And that right there looks pretty well centered. So now we're gonna come over here and we've got this registration mark selected. We're gonna go over to tools, down to print and cut, and we are going to set first target position. So now that one is set and you can even come in here, print and cut, you can see that this blue dot here is highlighted. So now we're gonna come over, go to the other one, select it. So now this one is selected we're going to move over to the other side. Okay, so I think that one looks pretty dang close. So we're going to go ahead and now that this one is selected, we're going to go back over, tools, print and cut and select second. So now 
the laser knows where everything is. And keep in mind, we've set everything to absolute coordinates. And I believe that even as soon as you start using the print and cut feature, it automatically will change this because it needs to be an absolute coordinates to make this work. So now that I've got that all set up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a dry run. I'm not gonna have the laser power on and we'll just hit run and we'll see how close it gets to the edges of these. Okay, so now over here, we just have the black set to cut. And so it's just gonna be that interior line there inside the blue lines. And so I'm gonna go ahead with the laser power off. I'm gonna hit start. We're just watching. And honestly, as a test, that looked pretty dang close. So I think we're ready to shoot for the real thing. Okay, now the laser power is on. We are ready to go. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start now. And let's take a watch. done. Go ahead and remove my magnets here. And let's take a look. Pretty dang impressive. Pretty dang impressive. So I am super stoked with the results of these and how they turned out. Um, the, the print and cut feature and using sublimation for some of my projects is going to be a key part of what I do going forward. And so you'll, you'll see a lot more of this from me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.